Sure. Matthew. Thank, <coughs> thanks. Uh, I've, I've been told that even before today's announcement that uh, Kamal Morjain or Morjani of, of Tunisia, former Ben Ali uh, official for 30 years, is being considered for the post. And so I wanted you to know. Wanted to know. Do you think that like. Uh, uh, in terms of considering candidates that, that, that one's history before, before the Arab Spring in terms of democracy, what would you say to those who say this would reflect a lack of commitment? And I'd wanted to ask Mr. Brahimi, but I'll ask you, maybe you can get an answer, whether he'll have any role in Algeria upon his, his resignation I think, from the post. Uh, that is a question best asked of Mr. Brahimi, and if well, you can wait, I know, and if you can uh, maybe wait two and a half hours, uh, you'll be able to ask him that directly at the stakeout. You know, I don't think, I, I think focusing on, on names and guessing games uh, of who may or may not be is, is really not uh, useful, at least on our end. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, our discussions as to who would be, will be appointed will be based on the kind of person we want and the kind of role uh, that, person, uh, that person will have and on the considerations of what the UN and the international community can and should be going on on Syria, and we will get the best uh, possible person for that role.